enjoy it, guys, to start our week. Oops. I think it's quite loud. Like, yeah, okay, internet base. <coughs> oh, okay. I think we can proceed uh, further into the um, presentation, Kashalin, if the buffering is still going. Okay, so gitu kita langsung aja ya. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so good morning everyone. So today is the 15th of August. It's a Tuesday and we have our weekly all hands meeting. So I'll be your host for today. And we have Furkan as the moderator for the rest of the uh, all hands meeting. And today we have a very special guest, Pak Made Sukman. Uh, selamat pagi Pak yang udah uh, nyempetin juga untuk all hands hari ini. So uh, di sini, uh, <laughs> yeah, right. So uh, here we invite Pak Made Sukman as our weekly inspirational speaker. So uh, maybe we can have a look first on who is Pak Made Sukman. So he is currently the general manager at Gunggung -Gung Adventure. So Gunggung -Gung Adventure is a company that provides uh service actually so they have a lot of services for example like uh g printing as well as like uh foundation tours and so on so basically to give the experience to those um uh looking for a uh, unique uh service as well as like experience in bali especially so uh maybe a quick uh throwback first and uh let's have a look at Pak Made Sukman's inspiring journey. So uh, this is actually a very interesting journey as I was like compiling these uh, slides yesterday. So uh, Pak Made Sukman actually started as uh, the reservations ticketing agent at Bali Aviator back in around like 25 <laughs> years ago, like around my age. I was just born by then. Yeah. And, <laughs> and next uh, he continued at uh, Bali Star Tour as a reservations manager and he progresses into the operations manager in Manumadi, Manumadi Wisata as well as Crystal Holidays for uh, quite a decade, yeah, maybe around like 15 years there. And uh, currently, uh, Pak Made Sukman is the general manager at Gung Gung Adventure from 2014 until present. So uh, maybe Pak Made Sukman, could you tell us more? on your uh, current role as a general manager in Google Adventure? Uh, well, as yes, almost I'm doing my welcome is uh, Semangat Pagi for all. Semangat Pagi. Pagi. Semangat Pagi dong. Gitu. Semangat Pagi. Semangat Pagi. Semangat Pagi. Semangat Pagi. It's an uh, ice breaking because uh, I think this is too cool for us in the, the early morning for this uh, ice break. Yeah, so uh, I'm almost doing uh, semangat pagi for everyone. Okay. So again, thank you very much for the chance for me to let uh, Matt be sharing because I'm also the same like you guys. Then I'm just stopping from here and then yeah, I'm just uh, doing what I'm happy to do and then what i'm doing love to do that's it so uh adventure is my uh, hobby and then outdoor uh, and then uh, exploring the culture of uh, the island and then the social that's uh, my uh, i like it to do this and i like to share also and then i like to meet the people outside like uh, even though the guests from overseas or the local people and then at the times as the the welcome speech by the moderator that uh, i'm just nothing actually i'm just doing what i'm uh, would like to share and then would like to get from the others so that's why i'm working with the local people uh, it's a community base so that's why this is not uh, like a normally company might be the aim is uh, the aim of the business is profit oriented. That is not the starting of my what I'm doing right now. So what I'm doing is just would like to uh, share the experience and then would like to wake up uh, to 
to dig uh, what is the current i mean the destination ability or possibility to do but uh, sometimes uh, we would like to know uh, what is the destination is uh, ability to do or and then the local people didn't know what to do what to see but we can see from outside so in this side uh, we are not the expert we are not uh, i'm not the expert but i'm just uh, have an idea then i can see something then we can do with the local people this is the basic thing and then what i'm doing with kungkung adventure is just our mission is just to introduce the salak plantation actually maybe you know the salak plantation <laughs> maybe show up your hand who knows the salak plantation uh i did some research yesterday yeah that is uh that is my 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 mission is to introduce the salak plantation actually at especially at Sibetan village that is uh, our first uh, mission actually but when the start point we would like to introduce uh, some people didn't know and then didn't want to go so that way with some of our experience on the travel agencies we just keep trying to make and packages combined with the salak plantation experience so when we make the uh, activities like a jeep tour, cycling, trekking, and like now like a tips unless any other thing, so uh, there is an interest with the activity basically. So then what happened is when the people coming to the plantation at Sibutan Philip, so the people must or the tourists must see the salak plantation or must visit the salak plantation to experience, to know and uh to explore it or to taste the fruit and then what kind of the fruit and then what can the fruit can be made like that so that is uh some experience for myself also it's just growing uh, like uh, water on the river so like the wind blows <laughs> so it goes uh, as uh, smoothly but it's not uh, like what i'm thinking at the beginning right now so it's just moving and then running and walking that's it with the local people actually that is uh my mission and vision uh what is at uh, gungung adventure so then uh, just uh, flow like uh, water on the river and then some other uh, people or some other tourists come in oh i need to review i need the uh, uh suggestion about the how taking care of the people how taking care of the nature how to taking care of the culture and it's uh, like uh, today so maybe alna and sophie already see the what is i'm doing there yeah that is a simple thing yeah please go ahead i see it from so uh very interesting yeah so flowing like water yeah <laughs> like uh, yeah, basically following like the pathway of the river i see so there's this one thing that uh you mentioned also about this um the locals don't know what to see there but then the outsider can i think it uh everyone here knows that when like let's say your friend is visiting your city they know all the all of the places that they want to visit but we don't even know those places exist so uh, that that actually like happens a lot i think yeah and okay so uh pak madia sukman so uh we actually have a uh, few questions uh from our side that we are curious about uh yourself and how uh, you have been building your career so um like maybe could you share like a moment or like experience that shape your perspective on especially on sustainable tourism as well as community development which is what you are currently doing and uh, how is mm. it has uh, influenced your approach in creating um, like successful attractions uh, as well as villages with your uh, services on like for example trekking the salad plantations and so on yeah uh, as I said that uh goes as wind blows <laughs> so uh, uh, of course uh, i will take some advantage or some review from the other uh support like uh, travel agencies and also the tourists uh, who are visiting us 
So uh, maybe you should know, but I, I'm not one of the uh, one of the person who are doing this. But uh, we in in my backside is a uh, hundred people in my backside. But how to grab them? How to to change their mindset? Actually, they have their own basic of tourism, but uh, some people will uh, need some uh, a person or maybe uh, like a breaker to make them understand that their uh, village or our village is a possibility to have uh, to be a destination. Underline, please. Not to change to be a city, not to change to be a modern destination, but uh, uh, what I'm thinking in in Edpan is, I'm just working with the people. I'm together grow with the nature and their culture, not to change. That's a, 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 a my my basic uh, rule when uh, start with three percent Pak Nengah and Pak Ketut with me. That three percent who is uh, the beginner actually. Uh, so the first mission is to introduce the salad plantation, and then the second thing is not to change the culture, and then not to change the nature, but uh, how to make a packages, how to make a uh, good and interesting experience packages. That's the first thing uh, we need to do. But uh, and then my 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 experience on this is. Uh, yeah, a lot of things, and then there is a time also, there is a moment also I'm getting down, and then one of the people, one of the person coming back to me, and then uh, make, let me a spirit. It is not suddenly like that today, uh, we have a guest, maybe at this year we have a uh, the the community this is the homestay we have uh, more than thousand people coming within this year and then contract uh, 2024 already contract again it's like yes and then the people also at the homestay uh, we we can bring the tourists but uh, I'm I never think about the thousand tourists we can bring right now when the beginning what I'm thinking is only to share what I can give to the local to the culture. That's it. Don't ever think uh, mm -hmm. if you would like uh, <laughs> if you would like to make uh, this thing because uh, at the beginning, uh, to find the tourists in this village is a bit difficult. Yes, of course there is a villa already like a GMT and then uh, Salaka homestay that is, and then some homestay also. But uh, the guests are not just number. But now, uh, thanks God, uh, we have uh, more than 2,000 in this year. And then I don't know who's the 2024. It just, uh, actually, I cannot uh, walk alone. Of course, with the people at the village. And then from outside, uh, we need the supporter, like a travel agencies, and then the people from overseas also. Uh, we need the support and then to grow this up and then uh, to make them understood that this is the program is for the local people, for the community base, for the nature and for the culture. So then uh, they came in. Uh, it's, a bit it's a bit different than if we make like a water up thing. So what we will tell them, I mean the travel agencies, is our services, our standard, our insurance. But here, not actually. What I'm telling them is, you will see whatever we have, what it, what is the people doing, and then what is the culture uh, uh, we have done already. That is the tourists will will see in this village. So this is a simple thing, but uh, might be at the other people. If we are looking for a business at the beginning, I think not the start point. This is. I see. So um, basically, the heart where you start, right? Uh, especially with uh, room adventure. So you want to, of course, you want to um, prioritize the uh, locals, right? Uh, to like benefit from this uh, service, as well as to preserve what they have, especially. 
like with the plantations as well as the nature uh, surrounding the community. All right, uh, thank you, uh, Pak Made Sukma. Then uh, we actually still got uh, a bit time, so uh, let's actually give uh, opportunities to our community management team here. So uh, uh, perhaps can I call out to uh, Kyla, like if you have any questions you would like to ask to uh, Pak Made Sukma here. Okay, thank you. Uh, good morning, Pak Made Suman. Selamat pagi. Selamat pagi, 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 Pak. Selamat pagi. Halo, <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. saya Kayla uh, dari Community Management Team. Yang Bapak yeah. share tadi, menurut saya dan menurut kita semua pastinya itu sangat inspiratif ya, Pak. Di mana uh, tidak hanya sebagian kecil yang Bapak libatkan, tapi sebetulnya dari sejumlah besar atau skopnya sangat besar. Uh, tidak hanya terkait dengan bisnis, tapi juga gimana caranya itu bisa involving the people around it dan di dalamnya uh, to create the same goals. Yang jadi pertanyaan saya sebetulnya, Pak, mungkin karena di Bukit Pista kan kita juga punya community ya, Pak. Community terdiri dari beberapa, yeah. uh, mungkin puluhan dan hampir di angka 120 partner yang merupakan community dari kita akan tetapi beberapa hal yang kita masih mendapat kesulitan itu adalah menggerakkan kita untuk punya satu visi, satu understanding that we're actually reaching the same goal. Nah, kalau dari Bapak sendiri mungkin ada experience gak Pak sebelumnya? Apakah friction atau ada kendala ketika Bapak berusaha untuk uh, menjadikan orang-orang dengan background yang berbeda, orang-orang dengan um, punya mungkin kepentingan yang berbeda untuk memahami bahwa kita bisa nanti uh, punya satu goals yang sama, kita semua bisa mendapatkan punya manfaat hal yang sama dan kita sama-sama punya ownership atau uh, kepemilikan terhadap goals sendiri. Mungkin ada yang bisa di-share, Pak? Ya, yeah. well, good question. Terima <laughs> uh, because uh, ini saya kan juga apa ya, uh, starting, saya tidak apa uh, mempunyai kompetensi untuk itu juga dan kita juga mungkin dari ilmu sosial tidak bisa merubah uh, seseorang itu menjadi seseorang yang kita harapkan dalam pikiran saya sih ini sharing dari kalau menurut saya uh, saya tidak pernah merubah orang-orang atau alam dan budaya mereka atau budaya kita di desa Sibetan itu sendiri I will not So what I'm doing is, kita menggali potensi masing-masing 120-an uh, partner segala macam itu. Apakah ini mungkin 120 community atau mungkin person yang dimaksud. Eh, artinya, kalau menurut saya, uh, karena emang misinya tidak untuk merubah. Tapi kita menggali potensi. Dari 120 ini, kalau emang ini person, saya yakin akan ada uh, puluhan Uh, yang mempunyai potensi yang sangat bagus bisa diangkat. Karena kalau uh, merubah uh, apa namanya perilaku atau mungkin kegiatan atau mungkin budaya yang sudah dari sejak lahir mereka lakukan kita rubah untuk menjadi seseorang yang kita harapkan itu kan sangat susah. Jadi kita gali potensinya uh, apa yang mereka ability dan bisa kita kembangkan. Terus yang kedua kita ada badan-badan uh, di luar yang mungkin bisa mensupport kita, basically seperti sekolah-sekolah yang bisa mengajarkan uh, basic hospitality. Basic hospitality itu penting. Jadi dari sana uh, kita ambil itu saja. Paling tidak mereka akan sadar dengan wisata, terutama sampah. Kemudian mungkin bagaimana mereka memperlakukan jika ada orang berkunjung. Uh, mungkin itu secara basic sudah akan diajarkan oleh uh, di sekolah-sekolah di atau mungkin kita mengundang uh, sekolah pariwisata untuk bekerja sama uh, dan syukurnya saat ini uh, mungkin saya sedikit di desa wisata Sibetan uh, sudah MOA juga selama tiga tahun ini itu uh, apa namanya STP atau Sekolah Tinggi Pariwisata Bali yang dimimpin langsung oleh Pak Sandi Uno uh, membina kita saat ini. Jadi sudah berjalan, uh, jadi selama tiga tahun ini. Jadi mereka melihat uh, bagaimana sih movement sebuah desa wisata itu atau mungkin pergerakannya, uh, apakah itu memang murni desa wisata atau mungkin digerakkan untuk masyarakat atau salah satu menggerakkan masyarakat untuk kepentingan pribadi, itu menjadi penting. Nah, 
makanya saya bilang jadi uh, menurut saya maaf ini mungkin kan masing-masing ada punya visi atau misi yang berbeda maaf jangan tersinggung jadi itu menurut saya apa yang saya lakukan di sana gitu jadi biar nggak nanti ada kebenturan antar teman-teman dan uh, saya di sini gitu jadi apa yang saya lakukan di sana ya begitu jadi uh, makanya mungkin uh, alnato sofis bah ke sana uh, saya di sana ada komunitas juga beberapa ada hmm. homestay Kemudian ada penggiat uh, apa uh, seedling binaan dari pertanian pembibitan. Kemudian ada yang pembinaan dari penelitian mengolah buah salak. Kemudian ada yang membuat kerajinan seni dari rindi. Kemudian di sana ada budaya buat kecak dan ya, tapi di sana bukan kecak namanya genjek. Jadi uh, apa yang kita lakukan? Kita rangkul mereka semua yang memang mempunyai fashion. Dan mungkin dari ribuan warga penduduk nggak bisa semua, nggak bisa semua. Tapi setidaknya apa yang menjadi misi kita memperkenalkan salah itu yang dulunya mungkin tidak ada harga sama sekali. Nah sekarang kita kenalkan mungkin ada hotel-hotel yang menggunakan sekarang hard rock pakai mobil, kemudian ada di export juga. Jadi masyarakat yang tidak serta merta langsung terkena salahnya laku yang dulu mungkin sebesar bola pingpong sudah nggak terjual sekarang terpakai bijinya ada yang mengolah. menjadi apa namanya itu kopi kemudian kuliah jadi teh segala macam nah ini saya coba rangkul mereka semua dan makanan pun mungkin Sofi sempat tahu ya sama anak itu uh, kita sampai makanan pun kita gali potensinya jadi ada namanya rebung salak dan itu memang makanan khas lokal jadi itu yang kita sajikan dan apa yang mereka bisa itu yang kita sajikan nah jadi saya tidak ada merubah mindset tapi kita membuat misi yang sama untuk memajukan desa itu spiritnya itu aja kalau Ayo. menurut saya sih thank you um, Pak Sukman saya izin merangkum sedikit ya Pak berarti kalau dari Yuk. Bapak itu menggerakkan community di sini lebih fokus ke bagaimana kita bisa uh, apa ya namanya meni- lebih fokus pada hal-hal yang bisa ditingkatkan atau dari kesempatan-kesempatan dan peluang yang mereka punya ability dan hal-hal yang unik dan dari situ kita baru bisa berangkat sama-sama oke okay. I think that's really good Pak thank you for the answer Pak Sukman Ya, sama-sama. Mungkin juga baik. All right, thank you, uh, Pak Mada Sukman dan juga uh, Kayla for your question ya. So uh, unfortunately for this uh, session kita uh, bapak agak kehabisan waktu ya Pak Mada Sukman. So uh, we all <laughs> yeah. have to, <laughs> yeah, because uh, we all, uh, we have some several updates like internally from our company to address well in this session. Yeah. So uh, but we'd yeah. like to thank you for making your time in this uh, all hands session, uh, Pak Mada Sukman. Thank you for the. Uh, for the uh, warm uh, message uh, dari semangat pagi and then sharing your uh, insights and experience in handling the uh, local communities especially. Yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah. we will continue with our uh, company meeting, the All Hands meeting after this. So uh, feel free yes. uh, if you want to stay uh, towards the end or if you have uh, other schedules then uh, you may yeah. uh, leave the room as well. <laughs> Thank you so much yes. Pak Mande Sukman. Yes. Thank you very much uh, for the time and for the time to share. And then I'm sorry if any unconvenient things. Then I said uh, good luck. And then I would like to welcome you to Bali. Of course, the Sibatan uh, to try some of uh, activities in Sibatan village. Thank you very much. Uh, hope to see you again. Cheers. All right. Thank you for more this week, man. We love you. Cheers. All right. Bye bye. Thank you. I'm saying I'm closing here. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay, Tiati, Pamadi Sukman. All right, so uh, that would be our uh, weekly uh, speaker inspiration. So next, uh, I'll pass it to Mr. J. All right, good morning, everybody. Morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, did am I the only person? That got the memo? No, we are wearing red. Like either red okay. or red is fine. So All right. <laughs> I don't see any I don't see any red on Bayou or Vito. You guys gotta get some red on you. All right, there you go. Okay. I don't have any. I have some red on me right here. That's I that's the way I put on my red. Okay. What about Dafa? Dafa, you wearing any red? <laughs> I like how Hafiz is using his glass. Okay, cool, cool. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get started this morning. Good morning, and uh, thank you for arranging Pat Sukman.
to talk about salak plantations. That was pretty uh, interesting. I did not know that there is salak plantations in Bali. Bayou and I have tried, I think, salak plantations in Jogja under the form of the infamous Pondo. Pondo Pondo has gone away now. I cannot find Pondo again. That was some headache causing interesting bootleg stuff. Okay, anyway, let's go. Let's talk about the vision. Okay, so uh, feedback sharing. So thank you for giving me feedback on my birthday. I really appreciate all the lovely feedback that I get. And uh, I think for Khan said it very well. Feedback is a gift. And I received it as a gift. However, I want to ask you guys all something, which is kind of interesting about this, which is, am I doing something wrong? All right. Am I actually doing something wrong? And this is the kind of feedback that I've been hearing, right? So happy birthday. I understand you have a lot of ideas, but sometimes you need to let the other party finish their point first to get the full context. Reduce the amount of conversation interruptions from your side. Ask for clarifications before jumping to conclusions. Please do not cut people off when they're still delivering points. Let us finish our sentences, sir. I understand you're busy, okay? All right, so this is interesting feedback, but this is the point I'd like to make as a counterpoint to all this great feedback, right? Which is, does everyone like going home on time? If you don't like to go home on time, just turn on your mic and just let me know, right? I'll give you a bunch of overtime work. Does everyone like going home on time? Or do you want to like it, sir. Oh, what? You want like to You like going home on time, yeah? All right, good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Does anybody else like going home on time? I would like to go home on time. Okay, good. All right. Who else likes to go home on time? I do. Okay, good. If we really ask ourselves a serious question about why is it that we don't go home on time, would you be able to say that perhaps one of the reasons is being in meetings that last too long? Or going to meetings that you don't even need to go to? And not speaking up about it and politely waiting for the meeting to end listening to the other person finishing talking about something that doesn't really matter to you right and then later realizing well oh all my work time is finished i need uh, i i now need to get my real work done right yeah okay so hopefully i'm helping everyone see a correlation here between the way we use our time and the way that it affects the, the work hours that we spend here, okay? I think there's two kinds of interruptions. I think there's good interruptions, and I think there's bad interruptions, okay? A good interruption is, we've had this conversation before, or there's clearly a misunderstanding. Um, let's just skip to the point, right? Let's just get down to the decision that we need to make at the end of this particular meeting, rather than circulate over and over and talk about things that we should already know. All right. Do we have enough context to understand something? Well, I hope so, because that's what all this documentation that we create is for, so that we can quickly read, understand the context, have a discussion, and quickly reach a decision, so that we don't have to keep on repeating what we've already written down somewhere. Okay. I think these are good interruptions. These are interruptions that save us time, allow us to go home. What's a bad interruption? I think a bad interruption is when we cut off somebody when they're giving us a good idea. I think a bad interruption is bullying using a position of authority, an idea that is valuable, but then is not being heard because somebody with a position of authority is squashing an idea. Okay, I think that's a bad interruption. That's a uh, interruption that stops us from innovating, okay? So anyways, uh, I appreciate the, the feedback, but generally I'm in the habit of giving Good interruptions, right? I want to go home. You guys want to go home. So instead of us repeating something we've talked around before or whatever, I'll just say, all right, I think this is the point that you're trying to make. Let's go and give it to this, all right? Or you're saying something without giving essentially the right uh, uh, direction already. And I can see that's probably going to just be not a good use of our time. So let's just cut that off and go to the end, all right? Now, 
what I'm saying is this, right? This is a delicate matter because in our culture, we want to be polite, we want to be hospitable, and that is important. But in our work life, we also want to go home on time, okay? And a lot of time can be saved if we can reach decisions quickly and we don't need to have lots of meetings with lots of people wasting time, all right? So we need to define this carefully. And I think we've already done it before as part of one of our core values. It's the idea of stepping on toes, okay? If you are listening to somebody talk and it's just sounding repetitive or we've covered this before or this is not necessary, then just say, please, maybe I don't need to be here. I'll just leave this meeting, right? I'll go work on what I need to work on today, all right? But if you are also wants to challenge somebody that your interruption is a bad interruption, then also step on toes, right? Say, Jing, you interrupted me. I was just about to deliver a very important point. Maybe I can get some time to actually deliver it, okay? That's okay too. I would say, all right, tell me what I don't know already, all right? Step on toes, all right? This is the essence of stepping on toes, and I think the more we step on toes, the more that we get faster, better ideas delivered quicker, and everyone can also finish their particular work on time. Sound good? All right, so thank you for the feedback, everybody, but can we agree to step on toes, yeah? Stepping on toes does not mean going away with bad feelings. Stepping on toes doesn't mean that, oh, you know, I'm hurt, somebody rejected my idea. Stepping on toes is something we do every morning, in fact, in the URC for Hello World. We correct each other's uh, grammar, we correct each other as we're attempting a new foreign language, and without stepping on toes, we cannot reach, essentially, this idea of positive transformation, okay? All right. So if you're all with me on stepping on toes, then I'll advance to the next slide. Are we all good? Okay, all right, let's go to the next slide. Meanwhile, I think this is the, 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 the emotional sort of uh, guidance for stepping on toes, right? Your fear of stepping on toes should be less than your curiosity, okay? If you're truly curious, if you're like, hey, um, I think we probably have covered this point, I feel a little bit awkward interrupting you, but I think it's the right thing to do, all right? Then you will step on toes more often because your desire to be curious, your desire to ask the question, have we covered this before, have we done this, is greater than your fear. And your desire then to challenge back if you say, hey, we haven't covered this before, this is actually something that is brand new and you're not understanding the context. That is also your curiosity growing faster than your fear, okay? All right. Let's get into the roundtable talks. So uh, how many people have we brought over this past week? So a few. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is Leo's son, Ibu Leo's son, and also his pachar. And they came at, uh, oh, pretty late, around 7 o'clock, to visit our office. Right, Irene? Right, babe? And uh, we had a discussion about Gorogiri, and we came to some very insightful conclusions that we can help reduce the communication issues that they have on site with the Ibu who doesn't really speak English very well. But uh, that was one of our roundtable talks for the past week. The other is Pat Udik and Pat Yoga that have come from LMAX Consulting. They are knowledgeable and competent tax advisors and financial consultants. And they had the pleasure, thanks to, I think, Nanda's invitation uh, to come and visit our office the other week and have lunch with us, which was also pretty inspirational. So Pat, Udik is not a stranger to us at all. We know him before from the BVE Talk 22, which was hosted by Fercon and myself a few months ago. So it was a really good way of making offline connections um, or online connections offline. So that was really transformational and beautiful. All right. In addition, I got you there, Bayou. Look at you. <laughs> this is Bayou from about 10 years ago, right? Um, but I'm happy to say that we're restarting an old tradition here, which is the Book of Vista Bonfire. And back in the day, we would go on the beach, we would get a bunch of uh, friends from guests and food, and we'd have bonfires. And uh, just recently, we were able to share this moment again with a few of the people. There's Irene kind of lost in her thoughts. There's none to talk to Shaylin. Erica is brooding, I think, like, hmm, I need to get this deal or something, right? Bayou's just trying to get my attention, but I got my arms wrapped around Wayana, and Vito is saluting his goodbye to Bali. Yeah, I think that's Vito saying goodbye, Bali. <laughs> All right, anyways, very fun times. Lots of fun, lots of uh, camaraderie, and I think it's a good tradition. And I'd like to uh, have more of these in the future, too, as well. Okay. Oh, by the way, just for some fun, 
Uh, this is a this is a vision of what maybe the bucket will look like in a hundred years, right? So uh, this is us having a bonfire, looking across on what maybe the future of Bali would look like. I developed that majority. By the way, uh, who is working on the Instagram page for Journey at BV? If you are the person working on the Instagram page, please identify yourself. Nobody, right? It's collective, sir. Okay. Uh, in, All right. Great, great. Okay, just to get you some help right there, uh, for Khan. Why don't we get for Khan some help and share the Instagram page so that everybody can go and like it, right? What's the handle? Journey at BV, right? So I'm going to share that right now with everyone. And if you like what I'm talking about and you like seeing more of this, then please go on that Instagram link right there and like this particular post here. I'm going to make it even easier for you guys and do this and you can like it too. All right. Oh, by the way, a deal. Yesterday we figured out that little gimmick we did with doing the SEO push actually hurt our SEO. So remember we asked everybody to type Bali property management or Bali property investment, go visit the page. Apparently Google punished us for that because that looks too much like a hack and we dropped four places. <laughs> so don't do that again, but I think Instagram is okay. I think Instagram has a different, different algorithm or at least we will feel fast and we'll learn if it isn't. Okay, anyways, this is the vision of some future time. Maybe we can get the whole entire company here and have a gigantic bonfire and uh, relive our beautiful Book of Vista traditions. All right. Meanwhile, for those of you new here, this is the purpose. This is why we do what we do. This is the end goal to inspire delight through hospitality innovations that positively transform their guests, partners, and employees. And hopefully, those of you new in the company will see a lot of inspiration. You'll see a lot of innovation and be part of this positive transformation process to our community. Next. I got some good news. I checked today and we're pretty close to the revenue goal. We're in fact, I think about 2.1 million. So most likely we will achieve our semester revenue goal, which is good news for those of you who will be expecting a bonus, right? All right, anyways, semester three revenue goal, 2.4 million, overall rating 4.5, five far percentage of 70%. So the deal is three X individual bonuses that the company achieves a 2.4 million sales target from April 1st to September 30th. Measured on October 5th, qualified interns will receive a 3 million appreciation bonus. Bonuses go 4X if we achieve all three goals, which we are on track to do. Two, uh, 3X for two goals and 2X for one goal. Now, that would be terrible if we were only able to achieve 1X um, at this point. That would mean we probably would, I don't know, that, that, that doesn't look like, it looks like the first goal, the top goal will be achieved. For qualified interns, uh, qualified interns will receive 3 million for all three goals, 2 million for two goals, and 1 million for one goal. Okay, that's it. That's my update. And let me pass it back to our moderator, who Perkon. is Perkon. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Mr. Jing. And uh, yeah, guys, so keep up the good work, yeah, because we are close seeing to the semester goals. And now uh, I believe, um, oh, okay. I believe Irene will present this um, Airbnb is a dashboard. So Irene, uh, the floor is yours. I believe Kashelin has uh, presented uh, to help you. Thank you, Kashelin. Uh, thank you, Kafurkan. Um, so Airbnb is a dashboard for this week. I think it's uh, we've gone back to the previous um, readings. And for communication, we increased one. 0.1% from last week, 79.6%. This week, 79.7%. And next, accuracy. Accuracy uh, from 76.9% to 77.2%. It's good increase in 0.3%. And next, check in. We have increased for 0.3% too. Uh, it's from 81.4% to 81.7%. Congratulations, uh, everyone. And then next, we have location. Uh, location increased 0.3% as well. 72.6% to 72.9%. Congratulations, our NST. And then value. Uh, we have increased in our value from 72.0% to 72.1%. And thank you for BI team for working on the value. 
Next, we have cleanliness going back to 70.1% after it decreased to 69.9% last week. And uh, for overall ratings, uh, it's actually going to... Hello? Okay. Um, okay. So our overall quality uh, two weeks ago was maintained in 73.1%. And last week, we have decreased in 0.4%. And it has gone back to 73.1%. So it seems that uh, we fixed the issue, but we haven't really focused on um, to increase the score of our ratings. And for our this week's focus, uh, we will try to focus more on the improvement uh, instead of fixing issue. And we also have uh, staffs that we able to manage and hopefully can um, transform our full board and um, helping partners in assigning staffs or in need of housekeepers. Yes. Okay, next we also going to focus on knowledge management and wait, I think it's not um okay. so uh, next we have knowledge management for partners of boarding and onboarding database focus where we want to um maximize our uh, yeah our data in OSI and bigger to match with the reality. Okay, uh, next still with the same quote, because I think it's the most relatable quote for partnership to get closer than ever to your customers. So close that you tell them what they need well before they realize it themselves. Thank you. Back to Kak Furkan. Thank you, Kak Shailin. Okay, thank you very much, Irene. Okay, I think that also, what is it? Um, increase the probability for us to get the semester goals. So guys, be ready and keep up the good work. Now let's move forward into our weekly mission inspiration. And because there is no one coming from the guest, let's move forward into the partner side. Uh, to Katendi, please uh, read yours. Okay, thank you for con. Uh, Lea, last week we have uh, re onboarding the Uluwatu Village House with the new building. So basically for the this property has been uh, offline about four and five months, so we not sell it, but after that they are uh, re-onboarding re with us and then uh, the results so now they have two lumbung uh, and uh, rebuilt a four unit industrial house and a two standard uh, room uh, with the like industrial uh, style and then also the partner built a lobby for the guests check-in and then also storage uh, for the luggage that uh, because the owner also concerned about the guests that are have early check-in and late check-in. Uh, and then even his uh, property was offline for until five months, uh, he still uh, contact us for manage the property. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much uh, for sharing the uh, insights. And next, moving forward to Kairen. Okay, thank you, Afrokan. Uh, so as I mentioned before, we are trying to maximize our housekeepers to actually help us in the operationals. And in this particular partner, Budisi, um, owner of Bumaya and Blue Apsara, uh, she has troubles in finding daily workers during Kalungan and Kuningan. And we can provide her um, our full board staff to help the operationals on site and this is the result and she is happy with uh, our help from for finding daily workers oh that's so sweet okay i think uh, we have one more from kairen yeah yeah uh, so this is actually for last week uh, when galungan pak indra and his staffs are offline for the celebration and one of their guests uh, request to have their bathtub being decorated with rose petals and Kyla and I went to actually decorate the pet top and inspire delight the guests. Wait, you decorate this you can decorate this this yourself? Yes, I, uh, we did. <laughs> Kyla and I did. <laughs> wow guys. So, Kyla and I read that's very amazing. Okay. No, no, that's mostly so, I cannot take credit. Wow. That's a good knowledge management opportunity. <laughs> yes. Uh, 
Amazing guys, thank you very much for partner team to share your uh, good news to the team. Next, moving forward from the employee side. Okay, so uh, this is actually an extension to the announcement yesterday. So we are onboarding the feedback of Campus Merdeka Intense yesterday. So some of them are here. So wave your hands, guys. <laughs> and so we have like 10 interns in total and uh, plus one, uh, Fredian, uh, who is not actually in the program, but he's also onboarded uh, yesterday. So welcome everyone. And they will have their time in the company for the next five months up until the end of the year. So uh, we are looking forward to see how everyone here is going to inspire the light in the next coming months. That's all. Thank you. Who welcome the new batch of interns. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Kasherin, for sharing the news. Um, now I believe let's move. Uh, let's move. Pro proceed forward to the tech side. So to Kafidi. Uh, yeah. Updates on the. Improvement for listening content management. Uh, I think it would be beneficial for you to open the picture instead. Uh, basically, we handled for uh, bulk updates and also single update. And these are the general workflow of the listening content management integration. Uh, what's new? We have uh, in integrated uh, Kagani and also Hafiz on uh, the workflow of GitHub. There are new amenities that can be added to uh, from GitHub to Amazon before and testing for sync schedule. These are what's next uh, on the right side. But let's go through the uh, workflow for a little bit. Uh, let's go to the next picture. This is what the workspace will look like. Uh, the repository on the left side and how, uh, how to edit on the right side. You can see all the list of the details and also descriptions. On the other page, let's go to the next page. We can see that uh, with a single click, uh, technically the content team can just change uh, the entire uh, font document or keywords or some set of rules. Um, that's an example. And this was what uh, Hafiz tried, on, uh, tried last week. Next, uh, the supervisor will be able to see the executor's uh, work and what are the changes, uh, review review them, uh, going and, and pass it back to the executor uh, for revision. And yeah, this is uh, the, the last step, which is the deployment to the production uh, stage for where we uh, push from whatever the changes from GitHub to best of the front end. This is handled by the system. So these are the uh, we will start uh, like partial rollout to some of the listings, uh, merging it with Airbnb. And uh, there are some frictions like the schedule for the updates from best of the report to Airbnb is unclear. But and we will provide uh, proceed with the automated force push upon GitHub changes. So yeah, that's the general workflow of listing content management. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, please wait for the next update as well. Okay, wow, that I believe this is very useful yeah, for the awareness thing. So thank you very much, Kafidi. But I hope you have another insight to deliver. Yes, uh, just like how I mentioned you that you can search for phone number of guests. Uh, hopefully, it is useful uh, to search for phone number in bigger. Yes, at least during my BBW, it was useful for me. Uh, this week, I would like to tell you that you can actually uh, forget password uh, in Bifigo and also bigger. Lately, there are a lot of partners, not lately, actually for the longest time, a lot of partners actually forget about this feature. Uh, and probably our community may also forget about this feature, but this is an example of the steps and they can actually do it themselves or you can guide them through this feature. Uh, this will help everyone, I think. Oh, wow. So I think this is the, the emphasizement about uh, IRN's weekly strategic uh, uh, direction to, be, to have a better knowledge management, yeah? So uh, everyone can note this up. Thank you very much, Kapide, for sharing those. Uh, let's move forward to Felix. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, this is related to dynamic pricing. So permanent model, machine learning model, if you don't know, it, it, uh, it recommends price change on available blocks based on features provided like runway, booking window distribution, and a lot more. Uh, and the model is getting too complex. Uh, and we have just recently switched the model to random forest regression algorithm a few weeks ago, but it still feels like a black box. Uh, so we have this explainer visualization, which you can play around uh, with, and it will output the reasoning for each features and the respective contributions on Data Pista. Uh, this is integral to determine the next step of permanent uh, model. So for example, in this case, we have detected that the model detected a wrong pattern regarding previous rate average, which is the current nightly price. 
and we have plans to remove that feature and integrate it with the pricing distribution uh, so the model will will get the right pattern uh yeah so that's it okay wow this is very very useful yeah for uh, pricing teams so yeah thank you very much very first uh deliver those uh, in that insight next to kabayo It's so this one. is uh, Gaia. Uh, so yeah, if, if you go and open that, uh, basically I think we can just play the video. I think that's much easier. Meet Gaia. Meet Gaia. Your newest team, Your member. newest team member. But she's not. But she's not member. just any member. She's the intern she's you've, the always, intern you've dreamed always dreamed of. Imagine a team Imagine member, a with, team an member with an unclouded perspective, unclouded perspective. bringing a breath bringing of a fresh, fresh air to, fresh your, daily air to your daily grind. Our CTO Our by you says, it, by best, says it, Gaia, best, is Gaia is the best is intern, the best you, could intern you could ask for. Why an intern? Why an intern? Because interns because are, our innovators. are our innovators. Our fresh set our eyes. fresh set of eyes they spot what they we spot miss what we and dare to and dare to the um, status quo the status um, actually, us I think you can you can sorry i think you can yes pause that um i think it's not really pleasing to hear uh, i think it's best uh, probably to mas uh, mas bayu is is it okay for you to deliver the points from the video directly okay sure let's go back to the presentation uh, there's a presentation uh, version from from this Go to the next page, please. Yeah, the same. Ah, okay. So, uh, basically, uh, well, I'd like to introduce Gaia, right? Uh, Gaia is the new uh, version of uh, our um, AI, basically, but uh, it has a different uh, role, basically, in the company. AI and an intern. That's, that's nice. That's very nice, Marcel. That's that's really good. I should have thought about that. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. So instead of uh, thinking of an AI as a tool that cannot be, uh, dis uh, what do you discuss? Uh, we we will uh, uh, we will basically put the role of Gaia as an intern. So intern uh, can can do something like uh, what other people do, like for example, answering inquiries, for example, right? So that's uh, that's how the uh, AI will do, uh, just do the work like uh, like us. If we are replying to messages, the AI can also reply to messages. If we are taking notes of meeting, the AI can do that as well. If the AI answering partner messages, and they will do that as well. If they are inspecting work, uh, they will uh, uh, the AI also will do that as well. And basically, Gaia is another personality in our team member uh, that have, let's say, hopefully a superpower to to help us with uh, our productivity. So, if you can go to the next slide, basically Gaia is uh, charged with uh, supercharged with actions. Right, actions is basically what uh, Gaia can do. Uh, so uh, this is the basic functionality that we have right now is answering questions about property details that mostly asked by the guests, then check property availability, also reservation, um, and then sending coordination message to guests uh, and staff. Like if the guests got lost, the uh, Gaia can send the message that the guests got lost to the staff so the staff can pick the guests uh, nearby, for example. And in the future, we can add more actions uh, as, as we grow, we can develop, like, for example, recall a case uh, or past conversation, so it will not uh, repeat any mistake, or do evaluation or suggest recommendation, for example. So uh, we probably, uh, when we are writing something, a post for social media, for example, uh, ask Gaia uh, what she think about this post. Is it is it good enough, or what should uh, what can be improved? Basically, um, go to the next page. Okay, uh, okay. So Gaia also have characters. Basically, uh, it uh, it answer different way uh, on depending on uh, on who she's talking to. Like uh, if she's talking to guests, they are seen from their previous interaction with us. Uh, and then seen from the Airbnb profile and past reviews uh, of the guests. And also if it's partner, 
Uh, we don't have many data right now, but we can add more. Uh, currently, just from the user detail, where uh, which property they they own basically, and the employee will be seen differently based on the Slack profile. That's why everyone, please uh, complete your Slack uh, profile. There's your title there, what you do in the company, and also a uh, channel description. So every channel, we should have. Uh, uh, description what this channel do like for example if you ask uh, Gaia what should we do today in business intelligence channel the answer would be different than if you ask what should we do today in awareness channel so that depends on the channel description let's go next okay so how it works so uh, Gaia will process each uh, guest messages to action and then report to the supervisor and then uh, Gaia will also answer partner messages on Bivigo. Uh, check the information about a guest by reading the conversation with the guest and then report to the supervisor on the Slack channel. Uh, the supervisor basically inspecting whether Gaia is doing the right thing or not. If it's doing the wrong thing, the supervisor will do the same thing like any other intern basically. Uh, tell them that they are wrong and yeah, uh, help them to correct the mistake. Uh, Gaia also will respond to your question when mentioned in any Slack channel where you invited Gaia as well. And then please go to the next slide. Okay, so if you want to see it in action, uh, these are the current uh, channels that we are uh, using right right, right now. Uh, there's Gaia hosting, reservation, and Bifigo, same like the current uh, settings. And let's uh, go next speech. Okay, uh, this is the expectation settings, right? It's not perfect. Uh, it's basically right now in a beta release version. Uh, some things could break at any time. So uh, please expect that. So we are not turning off like uh, the old butler, for example, because we are still uh, training basically Gaia. So Gaia still needs to be trained to fit uh, all edge cases, like not all cases. Uh, she can do that even uh, for some simple tasks there might be some adjustment needed and if you have any use case implementation ideas like what do you want Gaia to do just uh, reach out to me for ideas so we can uh, try to make that work uh yes for con we are over time yeah yes i uh, i'm sorry Kabayu. i need to cut uh, you off there because we are running over time and we still have uh two points uh two messages uh, to be delivered so okay. yeah okay, can i have one more minute to finish this slide yes this please. is pretty important okay uh okay the next slide yes okay uh this is the Ooh. current team uh, basically I, I cannot find the photo of fito and rifki so basically we are all clown uh so basically <laughs> right now we are three people uh vision interface and ai agent uh vito has been helping with all the in, in interface basically how everything works and uh, rifki is working on uh, the ai uh, back end now next slide this is important okay so if you want to join the team you can do actually we need a lot of people to make it work so uh, there's a lot of work and uh, you don't have to be a programmer to to join uh, this team because uh, problem that we are trying to solve is knowledge management and a lot of our knowledge is document and or documented in our uh, head basically right so basically uh, how to make uh, the work that we need to repeat uh, every time more automated or at least more organized so uh, yeah there's some roles that can engineer you will work with API application logic data engineer you will work with factor database that's very sexy nowadays uh, so uh, from from the s or from the i if you want to join this team you can actually just uh, reach out to me uh, front end engineer uh, we're building dashboard and interfaces uh, for the gaia and then uh, in integration engineer this is interesting as well so there's a third party app that we want to connect let's connect that to google meet or connect to anything that we want so integration engineer and UI uh, UX, basically to design a user flow and interaction detail, how we should interact with Gaia, how Gaia should interact with us uh, or in which channel, which platform and, and how. So that's, uh, that's what we uh, want to invite uh, anyone in the company 
uh, just reach out and uh, and tell me how you want to contribute to this project. So uh, that's it from me, Furkan. I'm sorry for the overtime and uh, back to you. Okay, thank you very much, Mas Bayu. Even though it's overtime, I think it's worth to listen to uh, all of this very um, detailed presentation about our new um, AI implementation in Bugit Vista. And to the awareness team, uh, picking you up. So this is all the contest that you need. You can deliver actually uh, on your uh, channels in our website and our social media and such. Yes, Mr. Jing, you raise your hand. I think what we can do is this. Uh, why don't we pick this up tomorrow? Let's give it about 20 minutes to finish the rest of this all hand. Okay, so set a time tomorrow for the all hands where everyone can be available. And okay. let's try to dismiss it right now so everyone can get back to work, yeah? Thank you very much, Mr. Jing, for the intervention there. Okay, mm -hmm. so, yeah uh we let's this uh because the time is running out let's dismiss our all hands now and we uh we will invite you again tomorrow like around the same time for the all hands okay guys thank you very much and see you tomorrow i guess <laughs> bye bye see you guys tomorrow eh, wait, wait, wait 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 can we have a photo taking since we are we are all like wearing the red and white dress code first before i let everyone off for oh, content yes, guys yes, for yes. content okay yes Oke, okay. uh, Marcel, boleh dibantu ya? Oke, okay, since Marcel oh, has this. Oh iya, gue ya foto ya sebenarnya. Iya, Marcel. Oke, okay, let's go. Aba-aba ya.